Last time we checked in with our Stockton classroom, they were just starting work on their local water issue. Where have they taken things since? Hey everyone, I'm your host, Emily. As we hit the midway point in our series this year, the competition is heating up. Let's check in with Miss Gutierrez and her fourth graders as they bring their vision to life. Plus, we'll visit Miss Gutierrez at home to learn a little more about what drives her as an educator. My name is Yesenia Gutierrez. I'm a fourth grade teacher at Hoover Elementary in Stockton, and my kids call me Miss G. So I've been teaching for about 10 years now. If it wasn't for the kids, there's no way I can do this job. That's what drives me is being able to be a good role model and a good influence and inspire kids to do what they love and still be kid-like with them. So I love being outside of the classroom as much as I love being in it. One of my biggest passions is for music, so I love dancing, I salsa dance. Um, as much as I can. I love karaoke singing, being outdoors, hiking, kayaking is a big passion of mine. My family on both sides are actually quite large. Um, my dad is one of 10, my mom is one of five, and there's lots and lots of cousins on both ends. We're a very close-knit family. I love my family. <laughs> that sounded so dorky. It was good. For this project, um, we titled it Saving the Cycle of Life. They made me change it to Cycle of Life instead of Circle of Life because of the water cycle. But this is really important because first of all, it, here in California, we're a very, very big agricultural state. And that to me is super important to educate my students on the importance of using water and saving water and using it properly. The plants take what they need and they do what, what they don't. Want. Everyone gets a chance to do a little bit of everything. Well, all students are actually collecting data. We're actually learning how to make bar graphs. So this is the perfect way to do so. And they're also learning how to measure with millimeters and centimeters. We have other students that are putting together the rain gouges. We have another group of students that are making sure our garden is properly watered. The biggest takeaway I would like for them to come away with, with this project is not just knowing that it's important to conserve water and to keep it safe. But it would be that learning is fun and although it's challenging, it's okay. You can get through anything that you put your mind to and this project that we did this year really proved that. Thank you, Ms. Gutierrez and all educators for the hero's work they do day in and day out to empower the next generation. With that, it's almost submission time as we get one step closer to naming this year's grand prize winner. Come back next week as we join our student team for their submissions and kick off this year's judging.